stay right down on the ground. Stretch those legs out, stretch the hands out. Nice long body stretch. Couple of deep breaths here, hold it. Well, let's bring one leg into the chest. Tuck that right knee in, grab the back of the thigh. Just kind of rock the hip side to side. Loosen it up a little. And then extend the leg as far as you can. Point and flex the toe. Notice that when you pull the toe downward, the stretch goes a little deeper because you're extending that calf muscle. And just relax the foot, pull the knee in a little closer and hold it, taking a couple of deep breaths. Let the muscle relax in your hip, in the back of your thigh. And bend the knee. Let's take that knee and cross it over to the opposite side of the body. Bend the knee. Spinal twist. You're pressing that knee down toward the floor. Open the opposite hand down to the floor and keep the shoulders flat. Look away from the knee. Find a spot where your body can relax. Don't push so hard that your body fights against it. center. Squeeze that knee in, stretch it out. Let's switch to the other side. Tuck that knee in, grab the back of the thigh, hold it there. Just rock the hip side to side a little bit, loosen it up. And extend the leg up to the ceiling, hamstring stretch, flex the foot, point the toe, flex the foot, Point the toe. And relax that leg, relax the foot, pull that knee in a little closer, take a few deep breaths, letting the muscle relax and elongate. And bend the knee down, cross it over to the opposite side of the body. Stretch the other arm out flat, keep the shoulders flat, look away from the knee. Just let the body sink into it. back to the center. We're going to rock and roll all the way up and come onto our hands and knees. Actually, not on the hands and knees. We're going to put one knee down and the other knee back. So we can get into a lunge stretch. So back hip is over the knee and then you slide the hips forward so you feel a stretch in the front of the leg. So we stretch out the back. We're trying to get the front of the leg now. Try not to bend this knee forward in front of the bottom leg. You need to step that foot out so you have a 90 degree angle on the knee. You can stay up right here if you have flexibility. You can bring your chest forward to that front thigh, hand down to the floor. And just sit into it, let the muscles relax. Breathe.
and lift the body up. Just turn your body sideways, stretch that leg out to the side, and bring your hands forward, and then just sit back onto that back heel, stretching the inner thigh. So from the side, you look like this. We're going to bring it back up and switch to the other side. So we're going to up on both knees, put one knee forward, one leg forward, get that 90 degree bend, press the hips forward, hold it upright if you need to. If you can lean forward and reach the ground, do that. Again, you're not trying to tense up the muscles, you're trying to release them so that each breath you take, you can feel the muscle lengthening. Straighten that leg out, turn sideways, put that leg out to the side, bring those hands down in front, foot is out to the side, and sit back onto that back heel, stretching that inner thigh on the outside leg. And come back up on all fours, bring the knees wide, put the feet together and back, stretch back into a child's pose. The arms are outstretched, you're reaching your forehead down to the ground. Try to get the hips as long as you can in the back, you should feel a stretch in the low back. And we're stretching our shoulders here too. Walk those hands in, we're going to come up to a standing position, so put one foot in front and come all the way up to standing, stretch out the chest a little bit and the shoulders a little bit more. So grab the hands behind the back, clasp them together, palms facing each other, push the hands downward and backward. So you don't want the shoulders to hunch forward like this so that you can get the arms up higher. You want to think of opening the chest. Maybe your shoulder blades are even crossing a week over each other in the back. You should feel stretch all the way through the front body with this one. Especially in those tight shoulders. Take those arms out. We'll get the back of the shoulder. So bring that hand, one arm in front of your body. Press it inward, opening up the back of that shoulder. Separating the shoulder blades on this one. And switch sides, put in. Shake it out, circle those shoulders up and back, bring them all the way up, all the way down and back, and keep them that way for the rest of the day. Great job, ladies.